and then then wait for your outcome to, ha- to happen. As long as the story maintains its authenticity, drill bit continues to sort of uh, work, then stick with it, and, it, and you will be rewarded massively. That's my view, and that's how the best way to invest in money. Thank you, Terry from Power Nickel, for taking Arnett and my question. Now, my question is regarding the ownership structure of the company. I've seen a number of 23% being owned by the management team, and there is also a couple of different parties that also own a significant stake in the company. Perhaps you can outline this in a bit more detail. Yeah, I mean, we basically, the Lynch family, you know, owns about 20%. Uh, board owns about 4%. Critical Elements, uh, who's our partner, owns about 10%. And uh, the Stern family owns about 10, and they're long term friends and uh, business partners. And then uh, BT Global uh, owns uh, 3 or 4%, and Palace Capital owns about 3 or 4%. Long term sort of uh, shareholders, and uh, BT Global is a top five year hedge fund in Canada, I think, last year, and Palace was a top uh, one year hedge fund. So smart guys uh, that often, you know, if they like a deal, they'll get in early and, and you know, in advance of uh, other uh, institutions, maybe. Um, you know, if they are comfortable with the management team, etc., and, and the uh, logics of the uh, enterprise. So it's been great having these guys. And of course, when you have such a deep ownership group, which owns more than 50% of the company and within a handful of people, you're really thinking and acting as an owner, you know, and, and you're, 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 uh, you're, this is not a trade for us. We, we, you know, we can't possibly get off our position on some sort of stock promote if we were, you know, if we were to do this thing, that's just not possible. And not that that's our agenda, but you know, sometimes it is, it seems in, in some mining uh, companies, but it, you know, for us, it's an investment. We, 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 we've been at this for some time. We, we think there's going to be a compelling return here. We're not, our view is, you know, if we made less than 10 extra money here, we'd be terribly disappointed. And we think there's a multiple beyond that. So, uh, but it, it, it'll take, you know, probably a couple of years to fully realize that. But it's like, you know, I, I say to people with mining stocks, especially with stocks like Power Nickel, if you're going to trade this thing for 10 or 20%, please don't, you know, go, go, go to some, you know, trade some, you know, big cap tech stock that's moving. You know, you should be buying these the deals with a view that, you know, this is going to be, as long as the story maintains intact, I'm going to, you know, take, you know, five, ten times my money, and then I might take half the position off and then, I, you know, ride the rest. That should be how you, you, you invest in junior mining. It's not like momentum tech stocks, because these things can take a while to be realized, and then all of a sudden they can surge in just a few days. So you, you, it's hard to market time this thing. You sort of have to, I believe, buy and sort of buy, buy positions you believe in and are convicted that hey the science is good the management team is good they got the capital they're in the right space the right sector and then then wait for your outcome to, to happen as long as the story maintains its authenticity it's you know it's you know the drill bit continues to sort of work then stick with it and, and you will be rewarded massively that's my view and that's how the best way to invest in money